Okay, so you're going to start looking at the work of other artists. Uh, the reason we do this is because we need to start to develop our understanding of how and why techniques and media have been used by other artists. So you're going to look at designs, layout, the way things are done, um, colour, shape, line. You're going to look at all these things in order to help you to develop your ideas. Here we've got this artist's work. I've chosen this one because I happen to like it. Um, and I want you to choose three of the pictures. You're going to screenshot them, use the um, snipping tool to do that. And you're going to annotate, you're going to comment on those. So you're going to write a paragraph or so on that artist's work. Um, you're going to be looking at things like the techniques. Uh, the way they've used fabrics, they might have used different textures, different colours next to each other. If you look at this one, you'll see lots of different little textures and colours and patterns in the trees, all next to each other, that give that lovely effect of a forest of trees behind the house. You're going to look at techniques. So this one uses a plique where they've applied down different fabrics and sewn around them to make sure that they stay on uh, to build up a picture. You started doing a plique the other day. Uh, you need to know what the picture is called. You need to know a bit about it if there are any comments about it on the website, where it's from. Uh, you, need to, you need to know that. You need to know maybe the materials that are used, the techniques. I've already mentioned those. Um, colour and texture that I've already mentioned, the mood of the work, is it gloomy, is it happy, is it bright, is it sad, is it intimidating, foreboding, obviously I think this is quite a happy picture, it's a summer scene, uh, it's a little pink cottage, lots of trees behind, so that, how does that affect my mood? Well, it, it's a nice happy picture, it makes my mood reasonably happy to look at that. Um, the atmosphere create, created, similar to mood. It's quite a sunny day. It's not a kind of foreboding, intimidating, scary wood or anything like that. It's actually quite a nice, happy atmosphere. Um, you need to write all these things down. Anything else you feel is relevant, uh, like the way that, that it's layered up, like uh, maybe that the trees are not looking exactly like trees, they represent trees though, we know that uh, because they're using fabric, you know, they're not perfectly cut out trees but they give a representation of trees. Like the clever way that they've used this little fabric in front of the house, I don't know whether that's already printed or whether they've actually printed on it or drawn on it or even sewn on it to make stones. Uh, the sea at the bottom I don't know whether that's a fabric, that could be an already printed fabric, they may have brushed on dye onto that. But the basic idea that is you're looking at other artists' work to see how they do things and to then try some of those things out for yourself. So you need to do three of these um, pictures from this artist, choose the ones that you like um, and you need to comment on them and I've also added a sheet to the system with some of the things that I've just said to help you.